Hey everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Sell Those Flipping Cars. I'm Zachary, here's my nephew Ezekiel, and we're going to show you how to install the pistons and connecting rod caps on your 4.7 liter V8 today. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. As I said, we're throwing together this 4.7 liter V8 engine block for the 2008 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Man, I can't wait to get this thing done. But hey, just like I told my son, okay, this channel is for beginners to expert ranges, okay? And I've been in the trade for over 22 years, okay? Not everyone rebuilds a block, guys. So if you feel overwhelmed, if it feels too much, hey, don't worry, hit these guys up right here because it's gonna save you up to 75% on your next automotive repair bill if you go to an automotive repair shop. If you're doing it yourself, well, strap in guys, sit back in your chairs, make sure you have a nice beer, soda. <laughs> uh, come on, who's watched Black Sheep before? Huh? Huh? Tommy boy? Nothing. All right, whatever, whatever, whatever. All right, well, if you guys have any questions about the video, make sure you leave it in the video description down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell no, uh, bell icon as well. That way you get notified of all my future DIY auto repair videos in the future. Let's get into it.
But mankind won't be destroyed. The fact that you and I are working here today is evidence of that. Hey guys, there you have it. Wow. Just wow, right? The crank's in, the pistons are in, uh, we got all the uh, connecting rod caps on and torqued. Uh, man, it, this thing is just piece one after another, after another, after another. I actually had my younger brother uh, help me with this. Well, actually he was he was watching me do it because he's never worked on a vehicle before. He's never done an engine swap nor an engine rebuild. And, um, you know, it's just cool to have him there with me. We're jamming out to some music while rebuilding the engine. And yes, it takes countless hours. And if you're a mechanic, you know, just like I do, how OCD you have to become when doing one of these rebuilds. I mean, everything has to be right back in the spot you took it from. If you're replacing with new stuff, then you have to prep the, the old stuff to go with the new stuff. And you know, everything has to be clean and great and thrown back together and torqued down and RTV added and Loctite added. And there's just countless things. But right here on the channel, I wanna help you guys walk through this stuff, make it easy for yourselves. That way you understand it just like a mechanic would that works on this stuff every single day. So guys, thank you so much for checking out another great video here on the channel. I'm Zachary, and until next time, guys, hey, keep on wrenching. Take care.